Hello amigos! So, if you guys would have caught on that, um, as you guys can probably tell by the, the name of the thing, this is part 2 of the 50 subscriber um, special. Now, I'm going to be doing 5 parts of this and, uh, well, yeah. So this is the Q&A, apparently. I've only gotten 3 questions, but the 3 questions, you kind of got to go into detail. So, the qu first question, thread. <laughs> Um, first question was from Victor. Now, um, the question was, so if I started a YouTube channel, would you help support me while I also support your channel? Now, the thing with supporting other channels, I would, I would support a channel. I would support any channel, even if it was a total stranger. As long as, I mean, as long as, one, they have good, um, good intent for the content, and two, um, you're actually enthusiastic about it. Like you want to do it. It's not like it's not a job to you. It's just like it's just a hobby. It's some something you do for fun. So that's my answer for that. Now, now we're going on to number two. Uh, question number two was from my friend, my friend Mikey. Now, Mikey asked, "How do you record gameplay?" Okay. Now, either way, it all ends up to, through my phone, which is the thing. This thing that you guys are actually seeing me through right now, basically, is my phone. I'm recording with my phone. I've always recorded with my phone. All the games, um, The Sims, everything, it's all recorded from the phone. Everything. Uh, either it's usually the camera and you just zoom in, you added the brightness and, the, and you add the exposure and stuff, and then you'd have to mess with, uh, and then my otherwise, I use some apps that record uh, like the face camera, and then, uh, then I could do an overlay of the actual um, screen, which would be Moby Zen. And then for the entire editor, I would use Kinmaster. So, yeah, you guys can look those up in the Play Store. I have, those are all available. But um, for Moby Zen, it's available for um, it's one. It has two versions. It has Moby Zen, the original, and then it has Moby Zen for Samsung. I, I use Moby Zen for Samsung because I have a Samsung phone. It it's better running for Samsung devices, it's just easier to run, so they automatically suggest that you do it and they won't allow you to use the regular MobiZen. So, if you have a Samsung device, just download the MobiZen for Samsung, if that's what you're trying to use. So, yeah. Alright, next question. Next question is from Elazar. Elazar. Okay, don't, don't judge my friend's name. Um, Elazar asked, what is your honest opinion on everybody in the group? Now, everybody is not... <laughs> You gotta give me a second, okay? Okay. So, um, by the looks of it, the, Brian has a number of things that are awesome about him. Uh, now, Brian, Brian, for one, is, how do you put it? Brian's cool. Brian, Brian's cool. I'm just going in alphabetical over here. So, Brian's cool. He's funny. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, uh, he's a little bit weird, like all of my friends, all of my friends are either weird, um, sometimes he's a hypocrite, but I mean, he's just a hypocrite, that's how people are, um, of course Brian's awesome and he's nice, he's also very trustworthy, and, um, well Brian, that's just how Brian is, Brian's pretty cool, uh, I mean, at one point I did hate him, I was like in second grade, Spilled grape juice on my white shirt. Yeah, I got pissed at him. Yeah, I hated him ever since. <laughs> I hated him for a while, and then uh, until seventh se seventh grade year, we got we were in the same group, and I mean like same table group, and we just that's just how friendship started. That's how that's how friendship started in a group of friends. Um, next person. I'm just gonna erase what I have on the board. Um. Next person, I'm gonna go in alphabetical order, so A, B, C, okay, okay, B was Brian, A, B, C, D, D, okay, so we got David M, and we got David F, and then we got Elazar, and then we got Eric, and then we got uh, F, and then M, uh, we, we got this, we got, just check, just check, okay, um, Elazar, Eric, and um, then we got, Elazar, Eric, Eduardo. I know Eduardo would be okay. D L 
E R. Okay, Elazar Eric. Elazar Eric. And uh, how did the okay? There's Elazar Eric Eduardo Saul Gio. A B C. So it'd be Gio next. And then um. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm missing somebody. Oscar. Oscar. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, K, L, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Okay. Oh, so Oscar goes before so on. And then so. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Okay. So we already got Brian done. So we're just, we're just the race Brian. He's at the top of the list. Um, then we got David Mag There's certain things about David that are really awesome. He's a really big Nintendo geek. He likes anime, just like Brian does. I forgot to mention that about Brian. Um, but, um, huh. sometimes we call him Harry Potter. I remember that. There's some inside jokes that only people in our group would mention and only people in our group would know the answer to because it's just, it's just how it would go. So, like, uh, if we said the 1%, you guys, my table would know, our group would know what we're talking about. We were just automatically think of that, that one faithful day that David dropped milk on him twice in a row. I really want to share that story now, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to right now. But yeah, in total, David, he, um, David's also wanted to start his own YouTube channel. If he still does, he can tell me that himself. And I'll, I'll help support him because, um, you know, but right there, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's just David right there. He's he's pretty cool. If I had to rate him, if I had to rate Brian, it would be on the awesomeness scale. So Brian on the awesomeness scale would be like out of ten, six. <laughs> out of ten, six. Uh, David, I would rate him. Hmm. Out of ten. 6.1. Yeah, 6.1. He's one up, one up, uh, Brian. So, yeah, let's go on to David F. Now, David F. David F. Uh, he, he's quite weird in a, a lot of ways. Um, well, where, first off, he'd be asking me weird questions or, uh, bring up, like, weird things. That'd be one thing, um, it's quite a weird person to be around. A person that, like, some people in the group, in, like, the group of friends would, like, try to push away from most of the group. And they're just like, okay, you do. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> and that's all I really have to say. If I had to rate them from 1 to 10 on the awesomeness scale, 5. No, wait. 2. And a half. I'm not that mean. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, you have you you could have and you couldn't have some pretty good out conversation with them. Now, Eduardo. Honest opinion. Okay, like some people would say. Um, sometimes, sometimes you would get annoying. Just sometimes, you know. Only sometimes. Only if, if some people like bring up the same kind of situation over and over and over and over again. So like, uh, but he was a big uh, Fast and Furious fan and a Paul Walker fan. That was pretty cool about him. Um, that was one thing that I, I always had to connect with uh, Eduardo because Eduardo was, I mean, Fast and Furious favorite movie series of my entire life. Other than... And other, well, no, I mean it's it's one up. It's it's above. Uh, it's above. Fashion. It's above Divergent. The entire difference. I have not watched it. I haven't watched Insurgent. I watched Divergent. I have not been able to watch it. Don't blame me. So uh, if we had rate some rate them from one to ten on the awesome scale. Seven. Seven. Nine. Eight. Five point nine. 
I'm not really being generous with these. <laughs> okay, Elazar, Elazar. Really awesome, actually. Um, we have something in the common. Like uh, I can automatically relate to him with the uh, with the um with with the song uh, you you're gonna go far kid by the Offspring. Yeah, that's an awesome song. You guys should definitely listen to that on your own time. But I love that song, and I think it's automatically awesome. So, like certain things, you would think Elazar would be really relatable or anything, but you know. <laughs> There's, there's certain things that are confusing about him, certain things that are weird about him, but yeah. So, once to definitely awesome this scale. 6.2. 6.2. No, no, 6.3. 6.3. Okay, yeah. 6.3. We got that. Alright. Alright. God, this is one I kind of don't want to read. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, certain things about Eric. He's really fun to be around. Um, sometimes he would be in uh, another state of mind. Sometimes he would get, like, a pouty face. Um, but there's certain things about Eric that you couldn't actually, like, drift away from. You would just, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Eric. Definitely how Eric is. Yep. There we go. <laughs> so like it'd be like uh, you know you know that's Eric. that's 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 Eric. Yeah, I mean there there'd be certain funny things about him. Uh, some really awesome things about him. He was pretty. He was really cool to be around. But once ten on the awesome scale. Ten, ten. I'll rate him ten. Ten.